let's talk a little bit about water. One of the things about water and the navigation issues is that, well, you're going to get your feet wet. That's life in adventure racing, and in this case, in navigating too. It's a nice, I've got, whoa, this is nice and slick at the bottom, so I'm going to have to slow down significantly because it's gushy, and I do not feel like falling. You know, I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, it's a big swamp. There's going to be big alligators. Well, two things. They're probably not going to bother you. And, you know, and the other one is, um, you're going to see them coming. It's not a long crossing. And see that island out there? You're not going to put a, a control point on those islands in an in, in a orienteering. <laughs> an adventure race, that sucker is fair game. Uh, essentially, if the water is crossable at chest level, my rule is it's fair game for, for a checkpoint. That is what it is. Now, of course, I've got wet shoes. Not only have I got wet shoes, I've got wet shoes covered in slime. Um, okay, that is another thing that you got to deal with. This is all short orienteering course. I'm not too terribly worried about my feet. I'm going to be on my feet for probably another hour, and they'll be fine with that water. But if you're going to be on wet feet for a long period of time, and you know that your feet have issues, you need to take care of those issues. That is the one thing that can stop a team dead in its tracks, is those feet that just slow down one of the teammates. So five minutes here to go ahead and get your feet taken care of versus a pace that's slowed down by 100%. Basically, you can go from a 15 minute mile to a 30 minute mile as one of your poor teammates is limping along on dead feet. Take care of them. And it's a team effort. It's not an individual thing. Team needs to do this. Okay, that's another little tidbit to deal with.